Hello, good morning to you all. I'm Anna Patricia, and I will be presenting you the work we have been developing at the Roman Ruins of Troia um, on the topic of audience develop development, how we attract people to the science. So, what is this concept? Basically, it, um, it is a concept used in marketing, business planning, um, in different types of areas and brands, and it means how to engage people and communities and toward a social, a social object. And our object is archaeological heritage. So, how do we bring people to the side to sustain this heritage? And what is this heritage that I'm speaking about? So I work here from 11 years from now. This is the largest fish salting uh, center from the Roman Empire. And it is a national monument since 910. And it's now on the Portuguese World uh, Indicative, uh, Heritage Indicative list because uh, it really fulfills um, a gap which didn't exist so far in regarding world heritage. So we are preparing our classification. For the ones who don't know Troia and the Roman ruins of Troia, uh, Sophia already knows it. We are located 50 kilometers away from Lisbon uh, in the shoreline of Sado River. And we are the only case in Portugal of a private management in archaeological heritage. So this brought us uh, new <coughs> challenges to face and, uh, well, and ad advantages as well. So we were um, compelled to use uh, strategic planning and marketing rules into everything we do. So I introduce you to mine. This, <laughs> this is how Forbes um, forecasted how consumer would behave in 2015. Do you think he's still updated? <laughs> well, he is, because what we have, uh, recent studies have shown is that 53% of the world's population is now on the internet, and 93% of those people use mobile devices. We have a test to do because uh, in the guidelines we were told to, to bring our watches to see uh, how much time did we have. How many of us have watches? Or, and how many of us have mobile devices? I wanted to bring mine, but I forgot. <laughs> so how do we become viral? Or at least how do we relate to the people, this 93% of people that are using social media and internet? Because we have to communicate with these people because we need them to keep our goals uh, through. So we, we embrace these new technologies and these new, new ways of communicate. Of course, we already had a lot of commu communication done offline, so we were able to do this online. And we used it as a powerful tool to bring audiences to the side. So of course, to be relevant in social media, we already had a lot of data <coughs> done so far we had our historical background studied. So we, we were able to define which were our segments, which were the people we already attracted, which were the people that already liked us, and the ones who would engage better online as well, and which were the people that we didn't have so far. So lesson learned, we were able to enroll to a digital communication plan using social media uh, more often. Of course, we, we have the, adapt, uh, the advantage to be included in a resort, in a touristic resort, so we have also a marketing department. But of course, uh, internet and social media is so wide that we had to do it ourselves and acquire all the, the knowledge that we needed. So this is one of the examples we've done. We've done a lot of things. We used YouTube to enroll uh, students for our summer schools. We used apps to make story trails to provide a different experience. So we wanted to reach people 
before the visit, during their visit, and after the visit to gain their fidelity, make them keep coming to the site. So this is the example of our story trail included in the Fire Resort app. We are now developing another app called Guardians of the Roman Ruins because we have a different project which aims to empower citizens on the safeguarding of the heritage. So we don't want to create a game, well, not now, for instance, but we want to empower them through a game to help us to preserve the site from different uh, threats or hazards. So that we will be able to do that using the game without even acknowledging them. So we define different targets to different magazines, online magazines and online platforms for, for our uh, most uh, uh, common groups like children and seniors which we weren't reaching. And this of course creates us a lot of um, feedback from other newspapers online and offline and we try to appear in all the agendas online and newsletters from the region and also we never forget the, the history, the, the scientific purpose of the site. So of course whenever we can uh, we try to uh, engage different projects, different scientific projects and to base all our activities in that knowledge, in the scientific knowledge. This is a, an example of one of the activities we've made this year. So our main target was family, since we're in a resort, and also the resort aim is to be the best known resort for families. And of course, we know children, they love archaeology. So why not to engage these influencers and to invite them to a weekend of experience with a lot of Roman activities. So this, of course, had a lot of impact in social media, Instagram, Facebook, uh, I mean, uh, different types of media, uh, which provide us a lot of uh, visitors as well that follow those money bloggers. And of course, moving forward is to create our future. The way we communicate now is the way we will be seen in the future. And we have to keep studying our analytics, and that's what social media brought us. So it gives us more data to study as well. We like to study, we're archaeologists. <laughs> so, and we have to do that to keep meeting the expectations of our audience because if we say we're going to do something online, we, we better provide it when they're at the site. So bear in mind that we have to <coughs> follow the customer visit until the end. And we have to build this relationship. Mega brands do that, so why not? Why can't we do this in archaeology as well? because this is what will provide our future. So if we keep people interested in archaeology and in the heritage, because we are the main persons who already like it, so it should be easier to speak about that, for sure they will preserve it for the future. And we want to do that by adding value in each contact point. So not only when they're looking through our website, they will have a different storytelling, a different, they will be teased to come to the site, and when they come to the site, they have to meet their goal, so their value for money, and after they visit the site, they have to keep on, you know, interested with the site, so they keep coming, and we gain their fidelity, which is all brands want, so, sorry. And of course, this will all ensure the site preservation. Uh, I, I, I finish by adding some of our links so you can follow us whenever you want to do so. Thank you so much.